Oh my goodness. Welcome back, and we got a good one for you. So this one, we're working on vehicle armor, specifically the glass of vehicle armor. And with this one, we're collaborating with Tech This Out Meow. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. If you haven't seen his stuff, he's, he's got incredible work. He is now working on some vehicle armor that he calls Mobile Armor Vehicle System, I believe. So it's these, uh, panels essentially that can protect the driver or occupants of the car and uh, I'm working on the bulletproof glass for that so uh, it's MAVS for short mobile armor vehicle system and like I said we're working on the the bulletproof glass and I have quite a few arrangements of glass that I have worked on and now we're getting into the specifics of the glass normally I have used soda lime standard glass this time we're working with borosilicate glass which is pyrex or that type of brand i'll insert a video here to show you the actual difference between soda lime glass has the green tint to it whereas borosilicate is a very clear so for this round of testing we have three samples that we're going to use and they're between soda lime glass borosilicate glass different projectiles, 762 by 39 is our main projectile, up into a 308, and we're gonna see how the different adhes adhesives as well as other things work together. And because we have done so much testing, I wanted to let you know I've started a Patreon page, and I have a lot of slow motion testing. I'll also have more in-depth how-tos, how I actually make a lot of this glass um, and the materials I use. This one you can see wasn't as clear, but this adhesive is by far the strongest that I have used to date. So it's a matter of finding uh, a good variable between all these items. So uh, let's go ahead and go on to the range and then we'll come back and do a breakdown and see how these things handle everything. We are back to bulletproof glass. We have reduced the size to these. This one is by far the clearest. It's using a different type of glass, borosilicate glass. And as you can see, the clarity on these, let me see if I can get a good depth of clarity. So we're gonna go ahead, is that we want these to be rifle rated. These are small, these are six by six samples. We're gonna hit it with the 762 by 39 out of the Ruger American Ranch. There'll be a 123 grain full metal jacket. And if we can, if, if they tend to hold up, we might try to also hit it with a 556. So let's get to testing. So first sample, let's see if we can get an inch and a quarter of glass to stop a rifle round. Clear. Okay, sorry for the wind and noise, but this is kind of exciting. We obviously hit right there. It, it didn't go through. Look at that. There's not even a bulge. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to sneak a, I'll try to sneak a 5.56 five, up in this top left corner. But keep in mind, this is very compromised, so. We're gonna go ahead and try 556. Five, it's severely compromised. We don't know um, if, if it can take two shots. We're using American Eagle 
This is basically M193, uh, 30, it says 3165 feet per second. It's 55 grain, 556. We will try to hit that top left spot as closely as we can. You good? Woo! Clear! Okay, walking up. We definitely see an exit. Uh, well, that's confusing. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's got to be the 762. Huh. You know what? It probably just went, uh, went in there, and that's glass stuff that... It's not in there. We'll have to review the slow motion, but that's obviously where it hit. It was very, very much compromised. We got fragments all over. We'll try to clean this up and um, bring out the borosilicate glass. So now we have the borosilicate glass up there and we'll find out if, uh, if this type of glass is stronger than the soda lime. Going back to the 762 by 31. And here we go. You ready? Ready. Clear. Okay, so walking up, we can already see that it is stopped. Once again, there seems to be very little back face deformation. Um, I mean, I we can try to hit it again with seven six. I mean, by five five six, but I think this one's done. It is severely compromised. So we're going to bring the next one out and we're actually going to just move up straight to a 308 and see if that can stop, uh, if a thin little piece of glass can stop a 308. So we are hitting this with 308 full metal jacket from 15 yards away. This, this piece of glass isn't, e I'm, this bulletproof glass isn't even an inch and a half thick. I know we're asking a bunch but for homemade bulletproof glass, let's see if we can do it. Also, I don't know how the audio is going to sound because it's so windy and cold today, guys. But thanks for staying here. Let's see how this handles it. Good? Clear. My goodness. Walking up to this, that is, that is something. That is very, very promising. 
Wow, able to stop the 308. Sure, it chewed up the bullet, but that is something impressive. Guys, thanks. Stay for the build. I will go back to the shop and show you how I built these, how each one is a little bit different. We'll go from there. Okay, so we are back from our testing. And I gotta say, I am impressed. I am really impressed with how these things were able to stand up to each round. And um, let's go through each one. So this was the first one we shot. This one had the 762 by 39 and the 556. And um, was soda lime glass. So what I will do right now is kind of insert a video showing the layup of what I had. Essentially it was quarter inch soda lime glass. Then I used these very thin sheets of polycarbonate. They're actually 0.02 inches thick of polycarbonate. And then, um, and then in the back I used a 3 8 bit of polycarbonate. So, and as you can see, there's not much in the way of material that went through, but that 5.56 five, sure looks like it went through. 7.62 by 39 didn't have basically anything. As you can see, there's a bunch of glass that is still falling out of these. Here's one of those layers of polycarbonate that's holding a lot of the second layer. I had nothing in front of these. So these were straight glass on all of these. No, no tint. I, I like to put usually a security tint or film on top just to hold it together. These had nothing. We were testing out the adhesion of certain materials in between. As you can see, this UV resin is a flexible thing, but it doesn't ad adhere as much. But we were able to stop the 762 by 39. Now the borosilicate glass, this stuff is, it's clear. It is clear. It seems to be a little bit more brittle, but it is definitely stronger. And the way we can tell is the breakup in the back. There was nothing. I really truly believe had we had film in the front of this, we this could have taken multiple shots. So, Definitely worth maybe doing a bit more testing on this borosilicate glass. But as you can see, here's the 760 by 39 and nothing, nothing came through as far as the borosilicate glass. Now this last one, the 308, this one was interesting. This is the only one we used a different adhesion and what we used was basically a urethane. We used a polyurethane, but not something that you needed autoclave for. That's typically the TPUs, the, you, you know, the, the other inner layer films usually need to have compression and heat in an autoclave. This, we did not use that. We came up with our own, which was pretty clear there is no film on the front of this and it is not losing hardly anything. And as you can see in the back, that 308 did not go through. It, of all these, it's the only one that put a, a bulge, bent the metal, bent the metal frame that was holding it, even cracked the metal frame right in here, but it held everything so what that tells me is that adhesion is very important we are actually going to try to thin these down even more than the these are slightly over one inch these are an inch and a quarter and um, 
see if we can't somehow work these in to the MAV system that Tech This Out Meow is doing. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description of his channel. Definitely go check out his build. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. And we're gonna help out as as best we can. Like I said, we're we're doing some of this. We have a ton, ton more testing just to do in this. We're gonna actually scale up our next bulletproof tests, not to do such small six by six samples. We're actually gonna do one by one to give you a size reference. This uh, sheet metal is one by one. This is six by six. So we're gonna go ahead and do big, a big test sheet. We're gonna try to stop a 50 BMG. That, that's a big one we're gonna do. And we're also gonna try to have one stop multiple hits from a 308. And also don't forget to go check out my Patreon. I will also put a link for that in the description. It is just up and running, brand new. I only started it last week. It helps out the channel. It helps me keep on the testing. I'll you know, collaborate with anybody on there if there's certain testing that you wanna see. Again, I have the sled that does individual testing. I've tested everything from paper to tiles to, to so many different things. I can capture it in slow motion and we can see how it goes. So finishing out this video again, I appreciate it all. Again, go check out the Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'll start adding a lot more videos, data on that uh, format. And um, until the next one.